Hi there, it's Keith again. Just uh, before we get started on the software, I just thought I'd show you a really simple way to structure your folder so that things are easy to find, they're in a, a logical, simple uh, sequence. As you can see here, uh, I've got this folder is sitting on the desktop. This folder here is inside that folder. And inside this folder, I've got three primary folders. The first one, I'll just move that across, has got seven articles. Now, if you look at the articles, they've each got a name that is optimized. So make sure you target your keywords for those sorts of names. Um, you know, they're to a degree they're long tail. This one's obviously not, but uh, this one here is, as is this one. And when you open up the text document, um, we've got a heading which appears in there, then everything else will be as the body of the content. Okay. Let's just close that out. So that's the article folder there. Here, this folder is called www.onlinembademo.com. So that actually reflects the website, and that's where the website will end up when we create it with the software. And that's the file we need to remember as to where to send it. It's pretty easy to remember, it's the website name. Here, I've got a cheat sheet for information we're going to pop into the software. And the reason I've got a cheat sheet is it makes life easy. So here we've got um, uh, the site name, the description, the meta keywords that we're going to pop in, the actual primary keyword, and, and realistically online MBA is probably it. Um, let's just call it toponlinembabiz. We put, put in your AdSense ID, which will include the publisher and the full number. The Amazon ID, which will be your Amazon ID whatever that is, and usually there's a dash and a 20. I don't think I've ever seen any of them are not like that. Clickbank ID will be your Clickbank ID. The CB search term is the Clickbank search term, uh, and that will be online MBA courses. Home page we're going to set to random article, and you'll see what this means when we get inside the software. Link menu file name, again you'll see what that means when we get inside uh, the software. Uh, blog not included or included, you'll see that again. So with this, this, this. Um, but these are the main bits from here right down to uh, probably there are they, the things that you really do need to have in a cheat sheet so it's easily easy to access and it's in a, a logical sequence and it flows with the what's inside the software. So what we'll do is we'll leave it at that for now and uh, next we'll go to the software and uh, we'll show you exactly what it can do.